is an excuse to have this stuff around. I'd feel too insane just to have it to have it. This is the mother room, I'd call it. It's uh, where I, I do all the all the heavy work as far as in here. I like to sit in here for hours and mess around with small things and you know I have I mean everything from animal skulls to uh, old dead flowers. Queen Anne legs are always a favorite of mine. Plus takes care of cat burglars if there's any, ever a problem. Sometimes you just have to play with stuff to be get inspired for what you're gonna do next. I find most of my things at thrift stores and yard sales and state sales and occasionally an antique store if it's cheap. This is an old radio that I kind of gutted and put on top. This is another old clock down here. This piece in the back was from an old pinball machine. This is an old lens from an old camera. If it's a thrift store I go to regularly, I always walk the same pattern. If I haven't found anything there for a while, I always go in and I break my pattern. <laughs> it's like, just makes me think that maybe I'll find something, unstick everything, you know, go a different direction. Usually I'll head towards the furniture first, then the small shelves after that. I think this is some sort of sewing cabinet down here uh, that I had gotten. It's in pretty rough shape, but I'll have to fix that up. There's a box inside here that I made a keyhole into. I might make a back door going through that and build up some sort of a stage in there. Uh, Cause a lot of these things are just a part of our culture that everyone's, I mean, I have so many times people have been like, oh, that was in my, my grandfather had one of those, or that was in my grandma's house on her wall. And, and they, people can always find something they can relate to. There's a whiskey bottle cabinet over here. There's a hidden drawer with aspirins. I think people just find, find their own thing pretty easily. It's, I'm giving them like an attic for them to climb through or something, do their own digging. The trifada, the three, the three one of fate are up in the back. You can see them if you look inside. One spins a yarn or, or rope, one measures the length and one cuts it. The rope represents your life being created measured out and then cut cake knife for those special occasions but i've had people drop things off too i had a, I have a money box on, on one of the pieces out there the first show i had it was full of about, about fifty dollars worth of change change and a couple dollars so i think i should start using that a little more putting those on more pieces <laughs> grandfather was an auctioneer for the county when I was a little kid. One of my first jobs was to go around with him to help at these auctions. They would take me up to the attic or some old sewing room and put me in front of a bunch of old drawers or boxes and tell me to go through them and sort of compile them into different categories, you know, thimbles and coins. And it's just funny because, I mean, I spend most of my summers going to auctions and yard sales and thrift stores buying the objects that are pretty much similar to when I was a kid. Even when I was back and doing more paintings, and I started to incorporate little objects into the paint. And then I'd sort of paint the objects, but they would build and build until they started to overrun the painting. Basically the sculpture 
aspect grew out of the paintings and kind of wrapped itself around what was left of the painting and, and things became sculptures. <laughs> There are many theaters, and I like to have them all sort of encompassed into one world. Lighting the piece from almost with inside itself or closer to the surface, so you get the actual shadows of the pieces a little more, and you can, I think it gives more dimension instead of just having a direct light on, on top of something. It kind of pulls you in a little, plus it has that, that carnival feel. I think it's a, it's a sense of bringing order to some part of my brain because most of my life I felt like everything was pretty much out of order. It's a way to control situations and um, finite them into one thing. Things are all over the place, I can bring them, bring them in and make them tight. It's like playing with blocks, really cool blocks. So yeah, I don't know, I'm starting to like this. Minnesota Original is made possible by the State Arts and Cultural Heritage Fund and the citizens of Minnesota.